Hello and welcome everyone. This video tutorial is about GitHub and we will be covering below topics. First is how to create a new repository in GitHub. Second, how to make the initial commit to this newly created repository. And finally, how can we delete this repository? So let's get started. Log into the GitHub account, which you have, and there you can create a new repository either by clicking on this new button on the left side or by clicking on this plus sign, you can see the new repository. Click on the new repository. Give the name of the repository like demo repo. You'll see the green check mark, tick mark, which suggests that yes, we can go ahead and take this name and this name has not been used in any other repositories under the owner Lipica Panda. The next is the description, which is optional, but it is always advisable to give a description to know what is this repository all about. Next comes the public or private. If we want to have this repository shared with others, then we can keep uh, public, or if we want it to be private to only to us, then we have to select private. Next is the initialize this repository with readme. This checkbox will add a readme file to the repository, which will come as the commit number one, the first commit, and the repository will be created with one file, which is the readme file. But now I'm not checking this and going ahead with the create repository. It's always possible, like, yes, we, it has always the option to add a readme file at any stage. Readme file is nothing but the file where we document about the repository. Clicking on create repository. And yes, our repository is created. So as you can see, there are no files and no commits as of now, not even readme file. And this is the address to the repository. So we will be using this address to point that this repository is origin or the upstream. We'll see in the next few seconds. So let's go to the local whole structure we, which we want to add it to the repository, where, which all files we want to push into the repository. So this is here, like git demo is the folder. Uh, we can say that git demo, <coughs> excuse me. So git demo is a Java project or a C sharp project or any anything which we want to put into our repo, which we have started building and we want to upload it into the GitHub. So in this git demo, we have the resources, we have source code. This is the folder structure. We want to push all of it into our demo repo. This is not a git initialize. So first we have to initialize. Now right click on the mouse, you will get an option, git bash here. This will come only if we have installed the git extensions. So now git bash here. And we'll write git init and hit enter. Yes, initialized empty git repository. Also, we can see that a dot git folder has been created. It has all the information about the origin the address of the origin, the upstream address, and all those stuff. Here, all the setup, the linkings happens. So, this is a hidden folder. If you have, uh, if you don't have the setting in your system to show the hidden folders, you will not get the dot .git folder. To uh, view it, go to the view, options, change folder in search options. And in the view tab, we can see how we can change. If it's to not show hidden files, you can click on show hidden files, folders, and drives, and click on apply, okay. And the dot .git folder will be visible. Now that this folder has been git initialized. Now we have to 
stage or files, all the files, the resource folder and all the folders and files present under this resource and source code has to be uploaded into the repository. So for this process, the first step is to stage the files to commit. Stage files to commit. For that, the command is git add space dot. Dot will represent all the files which are present in this current directory. The current directory in which we right click and did the git bash here. So all the files which are present in this current directory will be added. Then hit enter. Now we will commit the files. Git commit space hyphen m and we'll give the message initial comment something will get to know that what is this comment about this is the initial comment so i'm giving it as initial comment so the stage files to commit are now we are going to commit those stage files hit enter yes commit is done now we have to set the origin once the commit is done we will not see the files in our repository not yet we have to push the files then only we can see you can see it's all empty now still all empty now we will set the origin where we want to push the committed files git remote add origin and we will copy the address we can Select and do a control C or you can click on this button to copy the address and paste over here. Enter. The remote is set to double check. We will do is get remote space hyphen V. And yes, the origin has been set correctly. Now we will push our files. Do that, we'll do get push space hyphen u where we want to push we want to push to the origin so origin and space to which branch of origin so origin will have can have multiple for now the default branch is master we can create a develop branch which we'll see in the further uh, videos but for now the default branch is master so we'll master enter and yes, it's done. Now we will refresh the repo, demo repo. And yes, we can see our files over here. Resources, we have the files. The source code also, we have our files. And we can see it is, the commit has come with the initial commit, which we gave in our commit command initial commit and here we can see the commit one this is the first commit yes. so now we have made a first commit to our repository and then we will see how can we delete the repository right how can we delete the repository? So to delete the repository, we'll go to the settings. And scroll down and we can see a danger zone. And here we have the option delete the repository. We also have the options to archive, transfer, make private. But I don't need this repository, so I'll delete the repository. It says please type this to confirm. So we'll copy this and paste it so that it's like we are consciously deleting it and it's not like a mistake. And yes, your repository was deleted successfully. And if we search for the demo repo, we'll not find it, it's not there. Okay. So in this tutorial, we just saw how to create a new repository, how to make the initial commit to a repository, which we just created, and how to delete this rep the repository. So 
one more thing that we deleted the repository we can also in the local folder the git dot git folder is there so it doesn't make any sense over here to link to reset anything then you can always delete this dot git and reinitialize and do all the again you can again point it to a different origin different upstream so once you set the origin or upstream if something goes wrong you don't have to worry you can always delete this dot git folder and can start afresh so that was all in my upcoming videos in the playlist i'll explain what are the nuances like what can happen during the initial commit or during the other comments, what are the conflicts you might see and how to get, how to fetch the new comments which has been done by other users and all other stuff. So keep watching. Thank you for watching this video.